What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about a name you should never use in Among Us. This name has been hiding many dark secrets from all of us and I'm here to reveal everything that I witnessed while using this name. And before we get further into this video, 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us darkest secrets. So why not solve that issue by hitting the subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And while you're at it if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below that way i know that you want to see more videos like this but now let's begin with today's story video so in among us there are several names that you're not allowed to use for example you are unable to use the name dummy which makes sense because that is the name of the bots in among us that you can find in free play and if you would like me to use the name dummy and see what would happen let me know down in the comment section but that's not the point of this video i have been receiving messages from my subscribers to not use the username 666. I was really confused on why so I wanted to see for myself which was a terrible mistake and here's what happened after I joined a game. So I found a regular lobby at least that's what I was thinking. When I joined in there was a few players with the same color but ever since his recent Among Us update there has been a lot of glitches so I didn't really take it much into consideration at the time. The match started and I was a regular crewmate. I went out to go do my asteroids and nothing was happening so far. So I guess his username was not all that special but I was terribly wrong. Wrong. As I was in the middle of doing my asteroids, I saw a player outside of the map. It was the only one. Another one joined in. There was now two players outside of the map. My game randomly froze and I was really confused. And that is when I was able to move even faster than before. How did I increase in speed in the middle of a match? That was really strange. I was starting to believe the rumors about using this username. Many things were happening in this match. That usually never happens. As I was walking around the map, there was a random player that teleported right next to me and he was following me his legs were moving he was bouncing i was an electrical trying to get away from him but he was just stuck to me the entire time almost as if he was an among us pet as i was making my way over to weapons all the sabotages were called o2 reactor the lights and communications they were all going off at the same time while this player was chasing me. I tried my best to keep my cool because I was not expecting this to happen using this username. I thought the rumors were fake, but this was real. I was trying my hardest to fix O2, but it just kept going off and off with this player right behind me. I don't know what he wants from me. And what made things worse was that everything was dark. So I was unable to see anything. Just the player right behind me. Eventually the player stopped following me. But he was just walking outside of the map with a few other players. No bodies were reported. No meetings were called. And I was the only one trying to fix everything. This was one of the most stressful matches of Among Us that I've ever played. There was just so much going on at the same time that I couldn't even comprehend it. Eventually Eventually the imposter won the game and it was a player that was chasing me earlier. But this doesn't end there. It was now the next game and I saw a few players standing above the chairs inside of the dropship. I opened up the chair and I said, wait, what? Did anyone else see that? A lot of players in the lobby were questioning what was going on. So I wasn't the only one that was freaking out. It was multiple players. It was now the next game and I was a crewmate once again. And there's only one imposter among us. But at this point, it feels like everyone is an imposter. We all spawned into the game and the lights were off. This might have been from last round and it somehow transferred to this this one. I went out to go fix the lights, hoping that this game would go back to normal. But as I was fixing the lights, someone was killed right next to me. I tried to click the report button but wasn't letting me, so I ran out of electrical. I was fearing for my life because everything was back to how it was before. I started to regret using this username and that is when everything in the ship was sabotaged. I fixed the O2 but then I was called again and I was struggling to fix O2 because of how nervous I was. The player that was watching me earlier was watching me again. I tried to run away and there was a dead body in the cafeteria. I was trying to report it but it wasn't letting me. On my screen it showed that O2 was called but it didn't even give me the option to fix it. I then walked into electrical and another player was killed right in front of me. I couldn't stand this game anymore. I was hiding in the corner of electrical, waiting for the player to leave. But when I walked out, I saw him right there with the bodies. I was running for my life at this point. At any moment, I could be killed. Then I was locked in the cafeteria with all the sabotages going off again. Bodies were everywhere and I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't save the crewmates because I couldn't even save myself. 
For a brief moment, everything went back to normal. But then the lights turned off once again. But at least I didn't have to deal with the noise of reactor going off in O2. But the moment I said that everything turned on again, I couldn't deal with this any longer. So many lives were lost. As I was fixing the lights, some mysterious player appeared right next to me. And he was just watching me. Then I was killed. While I was a ghost, I could see the lives that were lost in this battle. But who exactly were we fighting? Before I could enter another match, my screen started to darken and I saw a player and I've seen him before. I couldn't tell who he was, but then he faded away and I was stuck on an empty black screen. The eyes to my player finally opened and I was in the lobby. I didn't know why I was here. Everyone that I was playing with earlier was gone. The skin to my character also changed. I don't remember putting on the skin and that is when a thought hit me. I'm using Sairi Soro's outfit. But why? As I got closer to the center of the dropship, I saw Sairi Soro, Eris Loris, and Erisai Losi. These were all Sairi Soro's previous names that were banned. But what are they all doing in my lobby? Two of the players were standing above the chairs in the dropship and Sari Sora was in the center. I then looked at the top right and they sent a message. The message read, join us. And it wasn't just sent by Sari Soro, it was sent by the others as well. I closed the message and I got closer to Sari Soro. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't seeing things, but when I touched his body, my game lagged out and I saw Sari Soro's face up close. I then heard someone say, join us. Join us. And my entire screen turned off. If you would like me to continue the story between me and Sairi Soro, let's see if we can get this video to 25,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And make sure that you check out one of these Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.